hi guys welcome back to my channel sorry about not uploading lately life has been you know kind of busy but anyway here we go we're gonna do an emerald ombre tutorial and i am using a mixture that i created myself with young nails pigment it has a bit of a shimmer on it i'm not exactly sure about the color but if anybody's interested just ask and i will comment it down below so and i'll figure out what color it is but anyway so i'm doing the green first because we will be going in with a cover acrylic and the cover acrylic i believe is called cover rose by mia secret so yeah, this is the first step. These nails are already prepped and everything. I actually did a soak off prior to starting this set. And I am using my alpha brush number 10. It is oval and it gets flat after you start using it. And I am I'm also using, let's see what else, Young Nails Liquid. And like I said, this powder that I'm using, I created myself with probably Speed Clear um, and just the green pigment. And that's about it. All right, so now we're going to take the cover rose and we are going to place this bead um, by the cuticle area only because it's smaller. I just kind of do it differently on each nail But usually I don't work like this I usually put it above where that green is and then I'll and then I'll do the cuticle area So I'll kind of do the middle ish part and then feather it down and then I'll do the top part and feather it down, but um, I don't know this cover rose. I'll be very honest. I don't like it as much as I love the cover peach by young nails That's my favorite cover acrylic cover peach cover pink mostly cover peach i don't know something about that specific one it's awesome to use um like if you notice it, it doesn't fit like if you notice what i'm doing here it doesn't feather it down properly like it's really hard to feather it down it doesn't feather properly it doesn't blend that great um i mean granted if you use it like for just like a solid color on the whole nail it looks really nice but it is kind of difficult to work with i don't know if you guys have that same problem if any of you use it comment down below and let me know but yeah so we're just going to go near the cuticle area and finish that one up and then once we do this to all nails i'm just going to add speed clear on top by young nails to encase the the ombre effect and that's it for that part and then we'll move on from there so because i was telling you guys that that pink doesn't fade properly i kind of had to take a little bit more green um and feather it up i usually don't do this step i usually just put the color on the bottom and then the color on top and feather it down um, but in this case, I kind of had to feather it from the bottom up, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, yeah, so you saw me adding a little bit more monomer into my little dab and dish. And, um, I'm showing you guys that I'm adding a little bit more on these because I feel like they were a little more sheer. So anyway, so let's go back to this. We're going to start feathering it down from the middle and yeah we're just gonna repeat it
All right, so now we're adding our speed clear on all the nails. We're encasing every single one and we will be filing right after this. And by the way, I am using my Viva paper towels. These are the paper towels I feel like they absorb very well, especially when you're um, cleaning out your brush. It actually cleans your brush very well and you don't have much problems with your brush being dirty or whatnot and getting all sticky and messing up your brush basically. All right, we're just gonna go and file the sides, get it back into shape because after you add the acrylic, they kind of lose it, their shape. So we're gonna just file. I'm using a 180 grit file. I get my files from, well, usually I get them from eBay, but this last time I ordered them and I got files that I did not order. It was so off from what I ordered and I was not happy about that. But, I, so I just started getting, just to get them quickly, I just went to my Cosmoprof in my city and put, got these 180 files. The Z, these are Zebra files. Um, I don't know what happened with eBay. I, this never usually happens to me, but I ordered Zebra files and they came white. And they were very, very cheap feeling and they just weren't sturdy or anything, so I was not happy. But yeah, let's, we're gonna file these back into its coffin shape. That's how she lights them. And these are her natural nails, like as you guys saw. So this is just a basic overlay.
All right, so now we're gonna go into filing with our e file. This is a medium drill bit, and basically, I'm just um, trying to even out the surface, smooth it out, and make it look as natural as it can because it is her natural. Now, we want to make it look nice. Either way, you should do this on all your nails, whether they're full sets or overlays. But, anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to smooth all that out before we buff. So you guys see that I am uh, removing like the acrylic area, I'm sorry, the cuticle area. I'm removing the product, anything that's um, touching the skin. It's not really touching the skin, but I'm just removing it just in case. Like I just go around it just in case. Um, sometimes it does touch the skin, so that's why I do that. Most of the time it's a little bit touching the skin, so you just got to remove that. So, Because if it's touching the skin, it's going to lift off. Your skin has natural oils and they do not work well with acrylic or products like this any product that you would put on your nail All right, after that we had buffed them and all that. I didn't show that part, but I went into the putting the diamonds on there and she just wanted four on this one going down. And unfortunately it just stopped recording from there and I didn't notice. So this is basically the last of the video and I will show you the final results right after these clips. Um, I think you guys will like it and I hope I gave you guys a idea for some easy ombre nails you can do sorry that my big head is in the way but yeah i'm using my wax pencil by the way and you could also get these on ebay and that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys learned something from this please comment down below if you have any questions for me i'm always here to reply to you guys oh and by the way i am using me a secret of course and I will be using the activator spray to make sure they are there forever. Um, here's the final results. Like I said, hope you guys like these. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Like I said, if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.